So welcome back aliens, this is Norman Reddy from The Risk of Learnings and in this video we'll talk about the working of enum. In the last video we have seen what is enum, how to use enum, in this video we'll see the working of it. So before going for the working, let's try to understand where we can use this enum, how we can compare this. So what we can do is we can use enum in switch. So basically till, till 1.4, uh, switch used to support only one or two where data type ways to support, it is to support integer, I mean not even integer, int, byte, uh, short. But later in 1.5, we got to, we got something called as uh, auto boxing and boxing because of which we can actually use uh, this enum in, in switch. Okay, so how we can use that, we can say switch and we can pass the enum object but before that, we need to create the object of enum, right? So let me remove this stuff and let's say this is mobile. So in fact, we can create the object as this also. We can say mobile m equal to mobile dot apple. Now this m represents apple here, okay? And we can pass m here. Now if that m matches with any case, I mean that case would be of course, uh, it would be Apple. So if that matches with Apple, we can print a statement here. We can say system dot out dot print ln. Okay. So we can say system dot in uh, have I mean, Apple is best. So if your mobile is Apple, it is best, right? So we can we can also say break after that, and we can have some more switch statement. We can have more cases. We can have Samsung right and we can say this is we can print some message here we can say first copy of Apple right and then we can have a break here and there's no comments for let's just see here and even even this will work if I run this code you can see we got Apple is best and if you change this to Samsung of course you'll be getting the first copy of Apple right so we can use you can use enum in switch statement. So this M represents either Apple or Samsung or HTC. Uh, how about if you have a different case here? Let's say we have a case where the case is uh, my company, let's say Naveen company. Is, will, it, will that work? Uh, I don't think so. If I, if I do that, you can say here itself we are getting an error. It doesn't matter if I'm writing there or not. You can say we are getting error. So in, in the switch blog, you have to make sure that if you're passing M, it should match with the constants available inside this switch. That is something you have to remember. <coughs> okay, that's about switch. Uh, what else we can work, what, what else, what exactly happens behind the scene? So we, once we have done that, Let's see what happens behind the scene because enum was introduced in 1.5, right? So if that was, if this is introduced in 1.5, uh, <coughs> so did they change the internal working of the programming? Not exactly. <coughs> so as a programmer, you type this, but at the compiler level, what your compiler does is, compiler creates a class called as mobile. So the moment you say enum mobile, the compiler will create a class for you in the backend. And all this Apple, Samsung, HTC, they are actually a final object. They are static final objects of mobile itself. So mobile Apple equal to new mobile. So this is what is happening behind the scene. So if I comment this section for a time being, so this is what is happening behind the scene. And that's how you create multiple constant here. So we got Apple will be getting, uh, so this would be, Samsung and this would be STC. So this is this is what is happening behind the scene. So every class or every enum in Java gets converted into a class with with all this stuff here. Okay, so this is actually same as this one. So let me come in this one and let me go back with this. And that's why whenever you use enum, so whenever you use enum like mobile, we always use, I mean, when you want to use Apple, we always use mobile, right? Because Apple is a static constant. So when you want to use static, we actually use the class name here, which is mobile. So that's why we say mobile.apple, mobile.samsung, and mobile.stc. So that means enum gets converted into a class, right? Does that mean 
See, in class, we can define methods, right? We can create methods. Is it possible to create methods inside enum? And the answer is yes. The way we can create class, the way we can create class, okay, not class, the way we can create, that's, that's weird. So the way we can create variables and methods inside a class, I think we should, I should pause my Dropbox for time when, <laughs> I mean, a lot of notifications here. Ignore that part. So we have, so the way we can create variables and methods inside a class, the same way we can create variables and methods inside enum. So we can say int x, right, inside this class. The same thing can be done here. So we can say uh, int price because every fo every phone will have a price, right? So we'll say int price. And we can also have methods here. We can say public int uh, get price. And we can say return the price. So every phone will have a price now. We can do that. We can have variables and methods inside a enum. And that is what making enum different from the enum in C and C++. So in C and C++, it we, we, we were not having anything called as, I mean, we cannot create variables and methods inside uh, inside uh, inside the enum. We cannot, we cannot create methods and variables there. So can we can we access these methods? Let's try. Uh, so if I want to access those methods, first of all, what we have to do is we have to say mobile. Let me just print that value. So we'll say mobile dot uh, apple dot get price. So if you want to use this method, we have to use object, right? And this these are your objects here. And if you run this code, you got zero because we have not set the price. But now I want to set this price. So I want to set the price for Apple. I want to set this price for Samsung. I want to set the price for STC. How to do that, that will say in the next video. So thank you so much. Make sure you like the video and subscribe the channel.